A 30-year-old woman at 28 weeks of pregnancy comes to the clinic for a routine prenatal visit. She reports feeling more thirsty than usual and notices she's been urinating more frequently. She has also gained more weight than expected over the past month. Her previous pregnancy was uncomplicated, but she has a family history of type 2 diabetes. At this visit, she undergoes the standard one-hour glucose challenge test. Her result is elevated, so she returns for a three-hour oral glucose tolerance test, which confirms gestational diabetes mellitus. She appears anxious, worried about her baby's health. On examination, her vital signs are normal and the fetal heartbeat is reassuring. Ultrasound shows that the baby is slightly larger than expected for gestational age, suggesting early fetal macrosomia, a common complication of GDM. There is no evidence of structural abnormalities. Gestational diabetes occurs when pregnancy hormones cause insulin resistance, making it harder for the mother to regulate blood sugar. High maternal glucose crosses the placenta, causing the fetus to produce excess insulin. This leads to increased fat deposition and growth acceleration. Management begins with dietary counseling, glucose monitoring, and regular exercise. She is taught how to check fasting and post-meal glucose levels at home. Most women can control GDM with lifestyle changes alone. But if glucose targets are not met, insulin therapy or other medications may be required. She is scheduled for more frequent prenatal visits, growth ultrasounds, and fetal monitoring as the pregnancy progresses. Good glucose control reduces the risk of macrosomia, shoulder dystocia, neonatal hypoglycemia, and future maternal diabetes. Key takeaway, gestational diabetes is diagnosed with glucose tolerance testing and managed with diet, exercise, glucose monitoring, and sometimes insulin. Early detection and tight control lead to healthy outcomes for both mother and baby.